Imagine it's 1937 and there is no March Madness. Dr. James Naismith, Emil Liston, and Frank Kramer wanted to do more for the sport they loved. 83 years ago, they founded the NAI Men's Basketball Tournament. That year, Kansas City began its 75-year run as the home of the NAIA Championship. Buzzers beaten, champions crowned, and memories made. The NAIA tournament has become a cherished annual tradition for basketball lovers across the nation. We're very fortunate to have, have James Naismith, the founder of basketball, as, uh, as one of the founders of the NAI. He, with uh, two other gentlemen, decided that as Municipal Auditorium came online in 1936, they needed to start a basketball tournament in that building. Over the decades, the tournament has produced generations of die-hard fans that flock to Kansas City. I like to think of our fans as, uh, as a certain segment of them are just basketball junkies. When you have 31 games over a week and you have some fans, believe it or not, who are there for all 31 games, I think they call themselves the 31 Club. But you don't have to be a die-hard Hoops fan to appreciate all of the amazing moments the tournament has had over the years. It's not an NAI tournament without a buzzer-beating championship game that goes to overtime. My favorite number one memory and moment was in 2007, the four overtime game that Concordia beat top-seeded Robert Morris of Chicago. Overtimes one, two, and three were all set up by a buzzer-beating shot. Double clutches from oh, and goes! But not all of the NAI tournament's contributions to the game of basketball have come on the court. In the 40s, the NAI tournament became the first to feature a black student athlete, Clarence Walker of Indiana State. John Wooden, he was coaching at Indiana State at the time and they were part of the NAI. And so Coach Wooden had an African-American student on his team. When he qualified for the NAI tournament, Coach Wooden said, well, if Clarence can't participate, then, then I, I'm not gonna bring my team. Uh, fast forward, fortunately for the NAI to the next year in Indiana State, uh, qualifies again. Similar conversation, but this time the NAI had done the legwork to make sure that uh, it would be an integrated tournament in 1947. And so, by all accounts, Kansas City did a terrific job of welcoming uh, the team. And, and after that year, then it started to become a much more integrated tournament. Today, as with all great traditions, the NAIA tournament is evolving for the future. With format changes aimed at making the next generation of Hoops fans, NAIA fans. I think the future is gonna be interesting with this new change. I think the future is still gonna go on for another 80 years. 83 years of champions, heart-stopping action, creation of a tournament family and legacy that is second to none. And we're only getting started.